How's it going, everybody? This is the Redhead Gamer, and welcome to my... I think this is my knife part of my Kaiserite playthrough. Anyway, we're currently taking over Burma right now, and this whole video is going to be cut up a bit, because I realized that for like three hours straight, I did absolutely nothing but look at the world. So I was like, so instead of letting you all sit there and you know, watch the world for three hours straight. I decided I was just going to cut ahead a bit. Also, I'm going to show you how the world looks in the last part here, so don't worry about that. But right now, we're taking over Burma, so let's get to it. Currently, it's pretty easy. You know, I'm a little paranoid. I'm just waiting for my guys to get their organization back up to green, and then I'll attack. But yeah, Burma ain't going to last too long. They're getting bombed, they have weaker units, and the Mongolian Empire is just too glorious for them to handle. There is no way they can survive this. No matter what they try or do, they will die a slow, horrible death. And all that other good stuff you all love. Other than that, not much to talk about right now, but yeah. So, let's move up into this territory over here and slowly encircle them. Eventually, we'll get enough land to the point where we can easily just kill them all and stuff. That's going to be great and glorious, ain't it? Also, I was thinking of a, another mod to do for a Darkest Hour playthrough, and I found out about this one called Fallout Doomsday. I think I might try that one. I don't know who I'm going to play as yet, but I'll decide once I look at all the factions. I'm thinking either the new church or maybe the master so far. It'd be kind of cool to lead a super mutant army. Yeah. Yeah, Burma's gonna fall here pretty quickly. And then we'll actually have access to the ocean. <laughs> what we've always wanted, people. Access to the water. The Mongolian Empire now expands to the ocean. That's how awesome we are. Everything we are doing right now is for our great glorious empire, and no one can stop us. Look at this Burmese army being destroyed one at a time. What do they possibly hope to accomplish? They can't accomplish anything. We are defeating them and destroying them horribly. Not to mention our allies are just around the corner too. So there's absolutely nothing they can do. It's pretty sad, actually, if you think about it. But they aren't going to be doing much. Not much at all. Let's see what's going on here. Yeah, they're going to get crushed. There goes victory. We should be taking their key victory point here. And that should allow us to annex them, I think. Oh wait, that's not their key victory point yet. We gotta take this one down here, near the water. And then we'll have their key victory point for sure. Just gotta make sure, you know. This should be their last province right here. Hopefully, anyway. I gotta pay attention more. <laughs> But who needs attention when you got superior numbers and a superior military? Exactly, good people. Nobody needs to pay attention then. Unless you're really bad at commanding. Like I am sometimes. Let's annex Burma here, and we just annexed them. Victory for the Mongolians. Look at that. Nice little gray area. Our empire looks a little malformed though in my opinion. I mean it's like this big old weird blob and then we have that little part of us that slithers around you know India and whatnot. Just looks weird in my opinion. Slithers out towards the ocean. That's fine. I'm still scared of attacking India. Delhi is all I can. <laughs> try it bro and I'm like no man I'm good. I don't want to try attacking you guys, and they're like, DO IT! And I'm like, no, I do not want to do it. And they're like, DO IT! And I'm like, no, don't invade me. Because you all know how that works. Yeah. 
I don't know what I'm gonna do now though. This is the world and how it looks a little bit. The Baltic Duchy is all like lol. Look at us, we're cool. And I'm like, no, I'm good, bro. Siam is just being Siam. And yeah. It's kind of crazy. You know what? I'm gonna. Yeah, this is where I'm gonna cut ahead a bit. Because it takes me a while to decide what the heck I'm gonna do, because I have absolutely no idea what I was planning at this point. So I will see you guys in like a few seconds or so. It's amazing, the power of editing. You can do so much with it. Almost. Almost. So now we just cut ahead a bit, and we're still doing absolutely nothing. But sitting around and staring at our screen because we're just that amazing. And we have nothing better to do because we're just that plain awesome. Siam is being Siam. Vietnam is being Vietnam. And National China is just sitting there happy that they're a country. So everything is working out a little bit. I mean, I wouldn't say exactly as planned, but it's working out. Oh yeah, we also went to war with Germany, and Japan decided to take some of their islands from them. I tried launching an amphibious invasion of that island there, but for some reason I couldn't do it. I don't know why, but I just couldn't, so I was like, you know what, screw it. Germany hasn't been doing much anyway, they've been getting it handed to them by everybody in the game. The international is just pretty much kicking them around this game. And yeah, international, or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. I mean, I call it the international, but apparently it's not proper. You gotta call it like the international, or else you're like insulting all communists of the world or something. I don't know. Anyway, America pretty much annexed everybody, but the Pacific states. For some reason, they always leave the Pacific states alone. I don't know why, but they do, and it's just weird, because they sit around all game, just, you know, yeah, we're the Pacific states of America, woohoo, you know, and they never rejoin the Union, which is kind of weird. But you know what, whatever floats their boat, I could care less. Yeah. It's all pretty... boring at this point honestly this is why I play short games because like you know it's exciting for a few years and then it just like dies on you and you're like what am I doing what am I doing here oh yeah and Turkestan and Delhi are at war by the way they've been at war for a while now but Delhi is starting to come back and kick them in the jaw Turkestan's gonna get pwned here. Their soldiers are trapped in the middle of Delhi, and I don't think they have many soldiers in the middle of their country. So once those soldiers in Delhi get pwned, India's just gonna go up into there and take them over. So in short, they pretty much screwed themselves over. And you know what? With that knowledge now, I think I'm gonna abuse that and send my troops up to their border take advantage of that little disarray they have going on here that's gonna be very useful in the future it's called the art of backstabbing people you gotta master that because if you don't then well you're gonna get pwned in this game anyway here's a bit of Europe as you can see Austria pretty much has a good amount of lands a lot of partisans going on. It's just a big old crap fest, honestly. There's Libya. The Ottomans have pretty much taken over all of the 
you know, Middle Eastern area, except for like Persia and beyond, because that belongs to Delhi. And as you can tell right now, Delhi is just destroying Turkestan. Turkestan just went from like a big old nation to getting destroyed, <laughs> which is kind of funny, but whatever. You can't always get what you want, good people. You just can't. So we're just going to start moving our troops up towards Turkestan's border here. Try to steal as much land as we possibly can from them before they get annexed by Delhi. And just keep on expanding our empire. Simple as that. It should be pretty easy too, I think. I hope, anyway. It's going to suck if it turns out they have like a huge army in the back there. And they somehow make a comeback on Delhi and me. That would really suck, good people. But I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. So let's get this over with here. And sorry if I sound a little weird, I still have this cold and it's like driving me insane, man. Oh, oh It's like, just makes me want to eat babies or something, you know? <laughs> yeah. I've been watching a lot of weird movies lately, let me tell you. I mean, when you're a college student and you have nothing better to do, you just look up movies on, you know, the internet. And you find a few here and there, and they're just weird, especially the free ones. And yeah. Looks like Delhi is making a ton of puppets here. Like Afghanistan, and yeah. Let's just try to jack as much land as we possibly can from Turkestan. Well, that kind of rhymed, didn't it? That was pretty cool, actually. Okay, maybe not to you guys, but to me, it's entertainment. It makes me feel like I accomplished something, okay? Let me feel like a Shakespearean poet for once in my life. I'll probably never be able to again, dang it. Oh window, oh window, why are you so bright? The sun is shining through ye, all day and all night. <laughs> wait. There's a problem with the logic there, but you get the idea. I can be fancy if I want to. You can't judge me. Man, people like you make me wish I could drink some tea right now. I don't know why, but it makes me feel like I know what I'm doing a bit. Or something along those lines, who knows. So, somebody introduced me to the great art of diaphragmatic breathing, or whatever you want to call it, however you pronounce it. What was it? Diaphragmatic breathing. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it, I'm pretty sure. And, uh, let me tell you, it's been pretty useful, actually. Although I don't always, like, think about using it when I'm talking, because I'm so used to breathing in through my mouth, which is kind of weird, but, you know, whatever. It's very useful, good people, let me tell you. And it looks like Delhi just made a Lash Horda, or however you pronounce that. I am really bad with foreign country names, forgive me. If they're not European, chances are I don't know how to pronounce them. <laughs> and even if they are European, I have problems with it sometimes. Which is kind of bad, you know, but whatever. Whatever floats your boat, good people. Let's try to take this last province from Turkestan here. And our empire looks pretty nice right now, doesn't it? Just looks beautiful. Come on, move into that province and take it, dang it. Our empire looks pretty big now. Ain't it just glorious? Think about this. The Mongolian Empire started out really small, and then it grew into a great empire. That expands all the way down to the ocean. And a little bit... to the uh, west. Yeah, I'm very descriptive and fancy with my words, good people. You people just hear it and you're like, wow, that guy is amazing. I mean, just listen to his complex vocabulary. 
He uses the word dude and a bunch of other slang that just makes him amazing and that is why he is awesome good people.